Right, so now, having watched the second video I made on the front and back panel of the trousers, then let us now learn how to cut the components and as well their dimensions. Now, I believe you must have seen or um, been able to see that there are some particular shapes that are coming out or that came out from here. Now, the first shape we are seeing here, one is for flap and one is for the pocket facing, right? So, let's take this for flap, then the flap measurement the flap is what we use to attach your zip to your um, outfit so the flap measurement we are going to um, use for this particular trouser will be okay let's measure from the edge here three inches maximum right the minimum is 2.5 so three inches maximum width and then the length will be half inch or one inch smaller than your crouch depth so just curve here and then i have it to come out to be um 9.5 9.7 right which is okay by me so you mark the front as well and mark sorry the back rather and mark that way and then for the pocket facings then the width of the pocket facings will be a width that is not um that is not less than three inches so let's just say 3.54 maximum is what you have then you also trim some here and then make it to look smooth as possible and then the length will be above your pocket notch but then less than 13 inches long right so you just have to know these measurements of heart for you to be able to replicate the cuttings so i said four inches here maximum and then length of 10.5 is okay for us then mark the back as well and mark here as well then after this now the next thing you will do is your band now bear in mind that the band is meant to be cut at a point where you have the room to add the additional band that was meant to be inside your trouser uh, right so you always make sure that the base of your band is as straight as possible which is first thing you need to do right make sure that the base is as straight as possible then after this the measurement of the band for all grown-ups english trousers remains 2.5 inches this way 2.5 2.5 this way 2.5 inches this way and then connect the lines now the length of the band will be subject to your customer's waist measurement divided by two plus extra seven inches maximum now the minimum remains 2.5 so make sure that the cuttings is straight now these straight cuttings will help you in the folding time which we will see and as well which we are going to learn how the cut the foldings can be done properly right so make sure here is straight enough and then cut here as well then since the customer's waist i have is 33 inches now divide by two you have it to be at 16.5 and then add the extra seven to it and then let's first of all get 16.5 here and then this is extra um five i think it's okay for me so i will use that one for my um, band which i will see slits and do my regular jointed band so we have cut out the um fifth component now the sixth component would be our bit loop so the loop measurement we have will be a bit loop measurement of 1.5 inches 1.5 inches this way 1.5 inches bit loop right 1.5 inches and then connect the lines this way connect the lines connect the lines this way and then you cut out straight so the bed loop must be 1.5 inches so now the length as well will be 24 sometimes i cut more than 24 each bed loop is 4 inches right so you cut out in this form and then you keep your bed loop now the next components we are going to cut will be the plaquettes for the weld pockets now the measurement of that one is 3 inches width this way by the length of seven now the maximum you can do is your um 
um, 3 inches by 7.5 or 3.5 by 7.5 but it must be 3 inches by 7 minimum right so you cause in this form and then bear in mind that there are um, two pairs that's four pieces that four plackets that you will need in in making your belt loop so you slit here if it's unfold and then you also mark the back raise two up this way mark this way mark this way as well you also raise the other one up and mark here as well so having marked that now you have cut out all the components needed for your trouser and then the next stage we see would be on the gumming and as well subsequently the sewing of this trouser please don't forget to click on the red button on my channel to subscribe to subscribe is free it doesn't charge money to subscribe the reason you should subscribe is for you to to be following my channel whenever i post new videos now there will be a massive training coming up freely on this channel as regards to male clothing i still have some pet classes on telegram if you wish to join you can get my number on the previous videos i made and then join on on demand on telegram i will tell you the durations and the fees if you can afford it you pay if you can afford it no problem you can still be making use of our free videos which is still well detailed like the regular third classes thank you for watching comment on the comment section where this video is helpful to you and where you're watching from and also don't forget to give me a thumbs like a thumbs up and um, share my videos to your friends for them to watch thank you for watching my name remains Mr. Redefined.